Oh my east side doggies gon' ride. Oh my south side doggies gon' ride. Oh my north side doggies gon' ride. Oh my east side doggies get down. If we gon' city paw with it, city paw with it, city paw with it, city paw with it. We gon' city paw with it, city paw with it, city paw with it, city paw with it. Alright boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the DJ Chronicles with your homeboy DJ Jimmy Hustle and today has been a very good day. Um, I started my day off jogging with my dog so I got a chance to work him out real good and then I went back home and then me and my family we went to Jurassic Quest and if you do not know what Jurassic Quest is, that is an event where they have a bunch of life-size dinosaurs and all the kids love every minute of it, including mine. So uh, we had a good time taking him there. He taught me to get my face painted and all that. We even did a little arts and crafts, as you can see. Very proud of that, thank you. Other than that, I um, only have one issue, and the issue is um, I did get home a little later than expected, so I didn't have enough time to uh, you know, take a bath and load up and get everything ready so I am really rushing right now I'm supposed to be at the venue at 5.30 and it is 5.38 and the event starts at 6.30 so I am sweating bullets I got the AC on blast I am literally sweating bullets I'm serious um, so yeah so y'all pray for me while we do that and uh, get to this venue in time um the event tonight is a family reunion. It is a 70s theme party. And they want a lot of disco and a lot of slides and all that good stuff. So it's going to be pretty light for me. I don't expect a lot of uh, work. Um, it sounds like they're just going to eat and slide and get up out of them. But uh, we're going to see what's going to happen. So I uh, have real good thing, uh, good high hopes for it. But uh, other than that, man. The only issue I have right now is making sure I get this menu and enough time to get everything set up in 30, 45 minutes. So uh, what I'm about to do now is uh, pay attention to this road. And while I'm doing that, y'all say y'all prayers for me. And next time y'all see me, I'll probably be setting everything up real quick like. So let's go.
over A's and I's and O's and E's. All right, okay, all right. You know, you know, we got these fancy names and everything. How you doing? All right, let's see here what we got going on here. All right, let's see. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, all righty. Okay. Uh-huh, then they want to do that. And they're going to do that tomorrow, okay? Then they're going to do that Wednesday. All right. And then Thursday, they're going to do that, okay? All right, okay. All right, all right, all right, okay. Well, y'all ready? Y'all got hats on and wigs. Y'all know y'all, huh? Uh, so you can wait for y'all to me, y'all. San Bernardino, Cowboy. Wow! So y'all kind of came together? No. Oh, you on your way up there. You got it. Hey, you went to that bank and got that money. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah! Oh, we got a rich family number over here. So if you need $20, just come right over here. Yeah! She got 14 carat gold fingernails. Yeah!
So, um, everything worked out, man. And um, this event was pretty good, man. It was pretty good. Another reason is because my homeboy, the best comedian in Jacksonville, Mr. Charlie, was definitely in the building. And he uh, shut that thing down ever so nicely. It had everybody cracking up, having a good time. I love working with that cat, man, every time we get a chance to. So, uh, big shout out to Mr. Charlie, man. And um, the, uh, they gave me a nice little plate. So I'm about to tear that up too. It's 11.30, so I want to eat that before midnight, man. I don't want to turn into a gremlin or nothing like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm about to tear up in that. And um, as you can see, everybody had a good time. And um, I ran out of business cards. So, hey, you already know. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm about to go eat. And then uh, I'm about to go to bed, man. But I'm sorry to say this is the end of the DJ Chronicles, man. And I'll see y'all next time. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I'm not going to end this episode, man. I'm not going to end it because I was running late and I didn't get all my shots in and I don't want to do y'all dirty. You guys have been so supportive of these DJ Chronicles. I don't want to shortchange you guys. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to keep this thing rolling, man. We got another gig tomorrow morning and um, it's going to be with my church, the best church in Jacksonville, the Freedom Church. We are having a fun in the sun event, so um, they want your boy to be the DJ. And uh, we're going to have some fun tomorrow, man. We're going to definitely have some fun tomorrow. It's going to be some food, going to be some games. They're playing spades. They're doing all kinds of stuff, man. So we're going to have some fun. So uh, what I'm going to do, man, I'm going to eat, go to bed, and I'm going to see y'all in the morning, all right? Peace. <laughs> Six o'clock, and guess who woke up right along with me? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I had to get up, get myself together, and then I helped get him together. Um, he ate his little oatmeal and whatnot, and um, I went ahead and uh, got all myself together and put in the garage to uh, get ready to uh, what go. About we're not talking about Grandma's house. We just got him back from Grandma's house and we went to uh, Jurassic Quest, which I showed you yesterday, um, earlier this episode. So, uh, yeah, so he did that, went to bed. Um, he did not sleep throughout the whole night. Do you want to tell me why he did not sleep throughout the whole night? Because. Because what? I want my night all on. You want your night light on? Yeah, he wakes up 3 o'clock this morning talking about a nightlight. And I just went to bed around 1. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he woke me up out of my sleep for that. <coughs> and uh, put on his nightlight. I went back to bed, woke back up around 5.36 o'clock. And so did he. I do not understand why. But anyway, um, like I said... Ow. Like I said, I got up, uh, put everything in the garage to load up the van and uh, took a bath and all that good stuff. Got him together, as you can see. He is bright eyed and bushy tail. Um, so yeah, we are about to get ready. I'm about to load up this van and we're gonna head to the church and get ready for this fun in the sun event. So I hope you guys are ready. I got my red bull ready and we're gonna make this thing happen. Sleepy or not, we're gonna make this thing happen, all right? You right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so let's do that, man. Let's load up this van, all right? Go! Let's go! here uh, we setting up everything now and it's already hot man I'm sweating bullets man 
But y'all come ride with me, man. We're gonna set everything up, all right? Yeah. hotter than fish grease out here. But I feel like a piece of catfish soaking in some hot grease, man. Got that thing on high, about to burn up. But uh, everything looking good, man. And the only issue we have, is not really an issue, but um, we got uh, some soccer games coming out. Uh, they're getting started. And uh, we're gonna have the music blasting, so I don't know what is going to happen. I hope everything goes well. I got the music blasting the other way, away from them. So I hope they don't cause no issues, man. We ain't trying to start now. We just trying to do something for the Lord, man. Just have a good time in Jesus' name. So we pray everything goes well with that. But other than that, man, we about to crank this music up and have a good time. The food is out and ready to go. We just waiting on the congregation to get here. So uh, y'all stay tuned as we turn it up. Um, let's pray. Father, we thank you, God. We bless you, God. We thank you for this time we're going to spend together, God. We ask that you bless this fellowship. Bless the food, God. Bless the hand that we prepared, God. We thank you. What you're doing amongst us and with us, God. We pray for a spirit of fellowship and fun on today, God. And God, we just pray that we enjoy each other, have a good time. And Lord, please keep the breeze going. Yes, yes. Oh, Jesus. Amen. 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 Clap your hands. event for the Freedom Church of Jacksonville. As you can see, we had a ball. We played games. They played spades. We had enough food to go around, man. We just had a very good time. Uh, we already got good feedback. Pastor is extremely happy, so that makes us happy. Uh, yeah, man. We had a good time, man. The only issue was take a while this. My dog on laptop overheated again, so that jump made me so mad, and um, I'm about to throw that laptop like out the window, man, for real. So uh, what I'm about to do is uh, go get that looked at, and uh, try to look up, um, look up somewhere I can uh, get a backup or something like that. So I'll be doing that in a couple of weeks. Um, yeah. So I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I don't know if I'm DJing to buy equipment or buying equipment to DJ. I don't know what is going on, man. I'm just. Every time I get a little money, it goes out the window, man, with something. Something breaking down or something. So, that's the life of a businessman. Anyway, um, I'm going to take care of that. And um, we still had a good time anyway. Um, I just took my time with it. We played music. We had fun. Um, it did start raining close to the end of the event. So, we had to shut that thing down real quick. And I do want to say special shout out to the men of freedom. Thank you for stepping in and helping me out. Because, you know, if you ask me if I need help, I'm always tell you no regardless. So I just thank you for just stepping up and just doing it. So appreciate y'all for that. And uh, appreciate my pastor, Pastor Philip Rawls of the Freedom Church. Thank you so much for having me be the DJ. 
And thank you for being the great shepherd that you are. I appreciate you so much. And a lot of people always know or want to know uh, what or where do I get my drive from? Where do I get my motivation from? Believe it or not, I get my motivation from church. Um, like I said, my pastor, man, I watched him start a church from the ground up, man. From like seven people to almost 200 people or beyond, man. I don't know the exact number, but I know we got a lot of people. Um, but it started with like four people, man, and whoo, like over the years, man, it's crazy, man. So I just watched like a guy just take what he had, take the vision that God gave him, man, and just took it to another level, man. And that gave me a lot of inspiration, too, with my life and my business and all that, man. So I know it can happen. I've seen it happen. So I wanted it to happen in my life, and voila. Simple as that, man. I just take God's word and apply it in my life, and that's it, man. I'll be trying to tell people, man, don't sleep on God, man. Just read your word, man, and apply it to your life. Don't just read it. Apply it. So um, that's my word for today, man. I ain't mean to get off on no tangent. But... You need to have God in your life first and foremost, man. Regardless, I know y'all see a lot of this DJ Chronicle stuff, man. But always remember who I got on my mind. Always. So, um, other than that, man, we had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode because guess what? This is the 10th episode. I've been doing 10 episodes, bro. 10 episodes. I can't believe it. This is the 10th episode, man. So, I'm excited. Um, I already got some gigs lined up, man, so I am just excited, man. I can't wait to see what we got in store. It sounds crazy, man, so I can't wait to see it, man. It's going to be some things in the making. I hope I can make it happen. But other than that, man, I had a good time. hope you guys had a good time. And, oh, I do want to say a special shout-out to uh, DJ Main Squeeze, my brother, my brother from another mother. Yes, indeed. Guess what? He had uh, referred me for the gig, for the family reunion banquet gig that you saw earlier. That was all him. So he did redeem himself. Yes, he did redeem himself for uh, the last episode. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's one for one. Tired game, man. So, uh, appreciate you, bro. You did your thing with that one. It was nice and cool and relaxed and everybody had a good time. There was no craziness. So you did redeem yourself. I had to add that. But, uh, hey, man, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you have not already. Please share. And please comment, man. I see y'all watching it. Please comment. Let me know what you think. What's your funniest part? Something. Don't just leave it blank. Come on. I'm working hard over here. But uh, other than that, thank you guys, man. This is the end of the 10th episode of the DJ Chronicle. text me while I was out there DJing he wanted to meet with me um, today for um, another event happening in two weeks and um, yeah he told me where he lived and I am looking around like what in the Beverly Hills 90210 is going on around here I'm still in Jacksonville but it don't look like it, it looks like some country club expensive living luxury at its finest i'm up in uh i'm up in queens harbor right now i don't know if y'all know about that because i sure didn't know about it till today and uh i'm pulling around here and just well look at these houses look at these houses man these houses are ridiculous though and the grass is so plush and green got people walking their dogs walking their poodles and stuff like what is going on around here man dang dog i've been missing out I'm gonna see what see where he at, man. See if you need a neighbor or something. This junk is crazy. And they want me to DJ out here? Oh boy. You already know. Let's see if I get this on the DJ Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs>